On Robin Hood Radio, I have uh, said before when uh, when the Stissing Center uh, in Pine Plains, uh, the plans first came out, uh, and uh, that they were going to fix it up and make it a community and arts center uh, for the area. I have to tell you, I've been driving Route 199 uh, since 1972 when I actually started working in Kingston, New York, and never, never really noticed that building until uh, the plans came out. And now uh, it is absolutely an amazing building, uh, doing lots of different uh, performances, lots of different things uh, for people not only in the Pine Plains community, but the surrounding communities uh, to go to because it's very conveniently located. Uh, And what we're going to talk about today is uh, the Chamber Music Concert Series. And uh, we will be interviewing today uh, the person who is uh, heading up this Chamber Music Concert Series, and that is Sophia Joe. Sophia, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about you first, uh, Sophia, and uh, your your entrance into being the person which is going to to head up this. Um, let's get a little bit of background from you. First of all, when were you first interested uh, in chamber music, and how did this all develop out of high school into college and then into your professional career? Well, I actually grew up in Shanghai, China. Um, in the early 90s, there was this wave of everybody learning piano. It's great for kids' education. It's great for college entrance, so everybody was doing it. So I started piano when I was four years old. But the music education in China is definitely geared towards a solo career, and everybody wants to be a soloist. But when I was 15, I enrolled in a summer festival in Pennsylvania, America, and I did my first chamber music with a cellist and a violinist. And I was just so exhilarated. I didn't know it could be so much fun to make music with your peers and, you know, just not practicing by yourself. So I started to really, really like chamber music. So I took chamber music courses all through college. Every summer I go to more summer festivals and play music with people. And I made a lot of friends um, through this way. So I think chamber music is very, very important for musicians and the audience. I heard from a lot of audience that they come to concert because they love to watch and feel how musicians interact with each other. You know, and uh, and not only that, uh, I think what's interesting when you talk about chamber music concerts, of course, we over here have been used to Music Mountain producing chamber uh chamber concerts for quite a while but it's seeing how the musicians interact and there's just something when you see the musicians on a stage in a great setting uh, which is a comfortable setting and a close setting uh, the feeling that you get not only from the musicians but actually hearing and feeling the music is second to none definitely well, you know, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at uh, at who you've uh, who you've played with, and it, for, for someone as young as yourself, the New York Philharmonic, Berlin Philharmonic, Metropolitan Opera House, uh, Shanghai Symphony, uh, a faculty member of the Curtis Institute of Music, the Manhattan School of Music, you have packed a heck of a lot into a very <laughs> very young young short career so far. Yeah, actually, another aspect of chamber music is. I wouldn't say the elimination of hierarchy, but when you really connect with music and try to play the same piece, you know, a lot of boundary just disappeared. You are just musician, you know, you're trying to do your part to the best of your understanding. So it's truly, it's been a wonderful experience for me to play with those people who are so experienced in what they do. And I learned a lot. And also, I think they enjoyed it, too. Well, we're talking uh, with, once again, uh, Sophia Joe, and uh, we're talking about uh, the Chamber Music uh, Series uh, at the Stissing, which is the amazing, uh, the, the Stissing uh, Theater, uh, which uh, is right there in Pine Plains. Now, with the pandemic, uh, this actually, this is actually, I think, the second year for this, for the Stissing Center to have uh, a home for this series. Last year, I guess you produced uh, some concerts that were digital concerts and streamed free to people, right? Correct, yes. 
So I came on to this position um, actually in the second year of my fellowship with Bard College Conservatory of Music. As you know, it's quite close to Pine Plains, and they share uh, a lot of the same patron of arts. So towards my, at the end of my fellowship, one of the patrons of the school actually reached out to me, and he's told me that within this radius between, I would say, Bard and uh, Music Mountain, there was there's basically no um, concert series. It's a dead zone. So we decided to to start up something at the Stissing Center, which was also, you know, finishing up the construction and ready for a new season. So that really worked out until the pandemic hit. You know, all the venues had to shut their doors, and most of my friends uh, lost their gigs. So um, we, we decided to record four digital concerts, for the musician to um, play again. And at that time, there are a lot of um, homemade videos. You know, musicians just walk into the frame of their iPhone and start playing. The quality was not so great. So I decided to really hire a top-notch videographer and sound engineer to make it a very enjoyable experience for the audience and the performer. So that's what we did last year. And those are still up on YouTube. Uh, if you go to our link, uh, when this interview is over, if you go to our uh, RobinHoodRadio.com on demand page and go to the interviews and go to this interview with uh, Sophia, Joe, you're going to find links where you can actually see those. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, schedule, which is coming up. Uh, we will we will start, I do believe, uh, uh, with September 19th, uh, the Carnegie Ensemble, Connect Young Musicians. Correct. Let's talk a little bit about that concert. So that's going to be a really fun, dynamic concert. Um, I invited a lot of my friends who are currently fellows in the Carnegie Ensemble Connect program. And together we'll present uh, a whole concert based on the idea of folk dances. So it will start with a clarinet and piano piece inspired by the Chinese folk dance. And then we're going to go into a Mozart piece. And then there will be another violin solo piece written by John Corleano, inspired by um, Irish tap dances, where the performer has to um, play the violin and tap dance at the same time. And then we're going to end the concert with a bombastic piece by Paul Schoenfeld. The whole piece is um, based on the idea and musical tradition of klezmer music. So it's going to be a fireworks. That sounds that sounds that sounds terrific. Uh, and, and then there's a brief break. But then October third at four p.m., you bring in Bard's newest faculty member, an Israeli pianist, to to, to perform. And what 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 is that concert going to feature? Um, Shai Wozner is one of my um, favorite pianists of our time. He's so famous for his Schubert interpretation and a lot of really good classics. So in October, he's going to bring the complete Diabelli variation by Beethoven, which is, you know, one of the milestone of piano literature. I think it's going to be a great ending to um, the whole season. Now, after the season ends in October, um, uh, what do you do? you start planning for next season already, or do you then just take yourself out on the road and you do a lot of performances? <laughs> Well, I have been having a lot of gigs uh, since the performance sort of restarted, but everything is um, a bit uncertain right now. I am, as the director of chamber music at the Stissen Center, planning for the next season. So um, I'm actually talking to the board members and a lot of performers. We are planning to do a whole season of keyboard-based concerts. So we're actually getting a newly renovated Steinway from one of the patrons. So the next season will be uh, piano solo recitals and pianos with other instruments, piano with classical um, opera singers, and maybe we can invite also a jazz pianist. And actually you might have read that the Stissing Center recently received an organ Yes. which looks fantastic. So I think that can also be included in our um, keyboard series. Now, so that's 
what I have so far. Now, uh, what what is the normal schedule for the uh, for the for the for the uh, uh, for what you do with the uh, uh, with the with the music, the chamber music concert series? When does it normally start and then run through? It normally runs from June to October. But uh, next year we actually am uh, we are considering going from March until November. Depends on, um, of course, a lot of things. I th- yeah, I think that would be great because uh, you have Music Mountain that basically runs uh, from late May uh, to the end of September, and I think that uh, if you offered what you offer uh, uh, and 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 go further into November, uh, I think there's a, a plethora, a, a lot of people out there uh, that would uh, would travel that maybe uh, 25 to 30 extra minutes from not only our area but the patrons that also come up from the city to see this chamber music and listen to it. I think. I think that they would definitely, uh, uh, instead of just coming with, say, having to go to Falls Village once there's nothing there, I think the trip to, to Pine Plains would be absolutely nothing for them. Yeah. Actually, during last concert, which happened two weeks ago, we had a couple who, uh, they, they both teach in Columbia University, and they drove all the way to hear uh, this pianist play a new piece written by a Columbia alum, which I found really, really moving, and they really enjoyed it. Well, uh, Sophia, uh, it, it sounds like a great series. Once again, uh, the Chamber Music Concert Series. Uh, next event is September 19th at 4 p.m. The Carney Ensemble Conduct Young Musicians. And on October 3rd at 4 p.m., Israeli pianist, uh, Bard, newest faculty member, uh, will play uh, Beethoven's uh, Variations. Uh, continued much success, so- Sophia. And just keep us abreast of what's going on there. And, uh, you know, if, if you talk with your board members, if they'd like to expose more of the of the series, and you could uh, we could somehow get some of those concerts that you've got under your belt that we could put the audio on. We'd love to add a, a monthly feature where we feature your your chamber music series from the Stissing Center. That would be so lovely. Thank you so much. All right, Sophia, uh, have have a, a great last two shows, and like I said, I'll speak to you and other members of your board to see if we can uh, bring you uh, on air with a with a monthly show of uh, of what goes on with the Chamber Music Series at the uh, Stissing Center. So, uh, best of luck uh, into this fall and to the winter, and uh, good luck with your two concerts coming up on the nineteenth of September and October third. Thank you. Have a great day.